live. Leanne, welcome. Uh, you know, what's encouraging, I suppose, is that we've seen Westpac turning tide and trading up with its peers now. But really, beyond that, what has changed from the start of the session till now? Carson, look, unfortunately, as expected, it is still continuing to be a pretty flat session and really we didn't receive much direction coming into the start of markets today, particularly from the US and European markets as well. So I think certainly the expectation was that we would relatively have a flat to sort of negative day today. And unfortunately, we, uh, when I last looked, sort of down about 0.1%, really being led lower by those industrials as well as the materials stocks. Um, of course, some of those gold miners are dragging lower, but we are in fact seen Atlas Iron, um, one of the best performers in that material space yeah. um, and we did see that iron ore price obviously picking up uh, overnight. Some of the better performers being that staple sector, healthcare, uh, infotech and also that consumer discretionary area. Of course we received that consumer confidence data coming through a little better than expected so nice to see a little bit of gain in that discretionary area but continuing very very low volumes again. Yeah, it's intriguing is Evolution Mining uh, it, uh, it ran up uh, by about almost 2% uh, before its production report uh, for the June quarter and now it's sort of just run out of huff and puff. Explain that one. It does. Mm. It, it is currently trading mm. down despite this record production result coming through for the June quarter and of course for the full year as well. But we did receive that pre-release of their results back on the 4th of July. So I think a lot of the, uh, the results that have come through today was mostly to be expected by the market. And back on the 4th of J July we did in fact see the stock up about 3.4%. So I think a lot of the positive news was in fact factored in um, back when we did see that pre-release coming through. But of course a lot of the numbers do, uh, you know, are looking very very positive in terms of uh, their production and of course their FY15 outlook where they are expecting sort of similar production levels and, and capex to come in between 135 and 175 million dollars and expecting all of their minds to be cash flow positive. I think another uh, factor to consider with the performance today is certainly around around that uh, Edna May mine. Previously there were some talks of them actually selling off that mine. We do know that that has been one of their underperformers as a result of it being a higher cost operation so it has uh, or runs at costs of about 1044 ounces in comparison to about 721 ounces uh, for its other four mines so it really is a high cost production and, and really selling off that Edna May mine would actually improve the net debt position of the company and improve the overall group's cost base as well as their performance so I think there's probably a little bit of disappointment in the fact that uh, it does look like a lot of those talks may in fact have ceased and they may, may be hanging on to that mine. All right, from disappointment to disgust, let's finish with QBE, shall we? On that yeah. front, there's, no, there's nothing really to, at all to find uh, positive from this other than you might say uh, the global portfolio X Latin America isn't deteriorating. Carson, that's mm. right. I mean, really mm. a disappointing result seeing that reaction today. And as you say, the company today really has indicated that apart from uh, Latin America, they're expecting Australia and New Zealand, uh, Europe as well as the Asia Pacific um, to report pretty strong results. So I suppose that's what we will be holding on to in terms of any positivity coming out of this. Uh, coming into to this, we were sort of uh, expecting that in fact 2014 would be a year of sort of general business improvement and, and kind of a tidying up of some of their loose ends but certainly today really doesn't uh, doesn't help this and I do think we're probably likely to receive some analyst downgrades I know we'll certainly be revising our numbers as well and we really know that QBE has been hit by a lot of write downs and, and ra uh, rising claims provisions over recent years which really has continued to weigh down on the share price I mean if we look back at uh, January 2010 the stock was all the way up at about $26 now down to about you know $10.60 um, so sort of down 60% since then, so really has been an underperformer. Not much positivity out of today, but I suppose, yeah, we'll have to continue to watch out for us for some of their, their other operations, potentially some positive news. Wonderful to talk. Thank you so much. Thanks, Carson.